So I was sitting here doing some testing as I usually do with my Mac Studio and this beast of a machine, which is the Intel Core i9 Alder Lake chip in there. I'll put the vitals in the description. What caught me off guard was after my recent video doing the web tests, I ran the test again on my Mac Studio and I got really low scores and I thought, what the heck is going on here? Did I make a video with the wrong scores? That can't be. And these were such low scores that I thought this cannot be right. So I ran it and ran it and ran it again. And yeah, I was getting scores like 181 on speedometer two, which if you've been watching any of the videos on my channel, testing speeds of these new chips, that is a really low score. And then I realized, wait a minute, I'm logged in to the browser as myself. Chrome allows you to do this, by the way. You can create a profile and you can share your profile across different computers. And then I ran the same tests on my Chrome installed on the Intel machine on Windows. And I also got a really low score. So that made me think it's got to be an extension. Then I started hunting for which extension is causing this. But let me show you what happens if you run this in incognito mode, which is the way I did my tests. So my tests are okay. Here's speedometer two running in Chrome in incognito mode. That means that no extensions are loaded because I don't have a profile. And sure enough, actually, this is the highest score I've ever seen. 316. That's pretty good. Now let's go back to the one where I'm signed in. That's this one with a blue Chrome in the Chrome. And I'll show you what I have running here, more tools and then extensions. And I have all these extensions turned on. So I started turning them all off and then turning them on one at a time and running the tests. And I found that this one right here, image downloader. So I have two different image downloading plugins, but this one is the culprit. So if I turn this one off and rerun this test, I'm going to refresh the page, run this test, 298, pretty good. But if I turn that one back on and now I rerun the same test, you can even see how much slower the page is. It's incredible. 185. That's pretty sad when you know your browser can be almost two times faster if only you didn't enable that extension. And on Windows, it's the exact same thing. The same exact extension is causing the same problem in Chrome for Windows. So I got a score of 174 on the Windows machine, which typically gets in the 300s if it's an incognito mode. When I went to the details for that extension, nobody mentions that it slows down the websites, slows down your browser quite significantly. And there's alternatives to using this extension like this other image downloader. So the moral of the story is be careful with your Chrome extensions because it might cost you.